Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my Premier League predictions for week 4. The League Cup will be coming into a predictions video, but only after the next round. But, uh, some of the, pre well all the Premier League teams will be planning it, obviously except the ones that get knocked out this round. So guys, this is my week 4 prediction for the Premier League. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to try and predict is Chelsea vs Bournemouth. Um, now, Chelsea do have a pretty strong uh, start for the season. Um, so are Bournemouth, don't be doing too badly. But for this one, I'm going to call it... Chelsea home win. I'm going to go for 2 now. Uh, Chelsea home win. Um, but um, even though I am saying that, I ain't going to write Bournemouth off. Um, as I've said, this, I've said in previous videos, this is my own personal opinion. But um, I just think Chelsea going to win this one by 2 now. Uh, two goals to now. Sorry if I rip your team off in this prediction. This, as I just said, this is my personal opinion. So, um, the next game I want to talk to now uh, is every two versus Huddersfield. Uh, obviously, we've all, heard, we've all heard that Michael King, uh, King has a uh, fraction of his goal. Uh, the whole football community probably stands with him on this, but I wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, hope to see you back on the pitch soon. Um, but yeah, again, we've also got to remember that this uh, fracture on the skull did actually end Ryan Major's career. So, I hope it don't happen, but if it does, I hope you get a, a job that you would have gone after football. Um, but anyway, Michael King has a speedy recovery. Um, as I've just said, the prediction I want to talk to you about is Everton versus Huddersfield. Now, Huddersfield ain't had the start that they wanted um, after the hypes of last season. Um, Everton ain't doing too badly. Um, I think that drew with Bournemouth this week has just gone. But yet again, I'm going to go with the odds on this one, and I'm going to go with the 3-0 Everton win. Um, I'm not saying Huddersfield can't win this, but I'm just going to find it a bit hard against Everton at their ground as well. Uh, now the next game, um, Burnley versus Man U. Um, now we all know what happened to Man U when they came to my local town, as you, if you can't tell beyond me, uh, it is Brighton, but uh, I think we've proven that they are beatable, um, now we didn't get the credit, some of us perhaps deserve for that game, but I ain't got getting into it now, um, here for my week 4 predictions and that's what I'm going to do. But, this game, I'm going to go against the odds. I'm going to say Burnley to pick up their first three points of the season. Uh, if you watch my Premier League uh, video back, I did say Burnley didn't strengthen enough. Um, playing European football, playing league football on a Sunday, playing European football, playing league. And that's the way their route works at the minute. Um, but, as I've said, I'm just going to accept the odds on this one. And I'm going to go with a Burnley win. I'm going to say 2-1, um, I think Lukaku might score for United, but then I think Chris Woodward might get 2 for Burnley. Um, the next game, West Ham versus Wolves. Um, now, we all know that West Ham ain't picked up a point yet. Um, yeah, going back to my West Ham Wolves um, video, uh, not West Ham Wolves, what am I about? Um, going back to my Premier League prediction video, um, I did say 
uh, West Ham strength in the wrong areas. And at the minute, I've been proven slightly right. But there's still a long time to go in this Premier League season. So, there still is time for everyone to pick up points. Uh, I think that yeah, week four, so we've still got about 34 weeks to go after this week. Uh, so, still a long way to go. But yet again, I'm going to go with the Wolves win on this one. Uh, playing strength at home. Had a handball goal uh, against Manchester City. Um, yet again, this one I call for VAR. Um, now I know a lot of you are going to say when I mention this, it slows the game down. It ruins the atmosphere, it ruins the match. That might do. But... Premier League clubs have already started to accept that will be coming in some point over the next two to three seasons. Um, I think the quicker it being brought in by the Premier League clubs, I think the quicker the fans can get used to it. Um, but as I said, that handball wouldn't have been a goal. Um, and a few other decisions this weekend might have not gone the way they did with the VAR in operation. Now, for you that don't know, um, it's being used in the f four of the ties in the Premier in the uh, it, League Cup, um, with um, as I just said in the League Cup, one one of them is the game I'm going to, which is Brighton Southampton. So I'm interested to see how it works. So I don't think I've never been in a football stadium with VAR. I think it'd be my first time. Obviously I'll be taking you guys along for the journey. Um, but that's my prediction. Uh, West Ham versus Wolves. As I've said, I'll probably go go with a Wolves away win. Um, and I'm going to go with a 2 0 Wolves scoreline. Um, on to the next one. Uh, Leicester versus Liverpool. Now, as a Brighton fan, coming away from a 1-0 defeat to Liverpool, um, I'm still over the moon about that. Um, I can't see many of you going up there, uh, picking up a 1-0 defeat to Liverpool. Um, but, as you have seen the highlights, I could have had a lot more. Um, we had a couple of chances. But I think with Liverpool, you've got to play the same way we did, no matter what team you are. Uh, which basically... Excuse me. Which is basically off the ball, uh, stand formation, and like that. Uh, but yet again, for this game, I'm going to go with the odds. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 Liverpool scoreline. Possibly for me not to score. Um, but the next, the last game of this weekend I'm going to talk to you about is Man City versus Newcastle. Now, as I just said, City came with a, with a one on Wolves um, scoreline. They're going well put that right against Leicester, uh, against Newcastle. Now, no disrespect to Newcastle, you've got so many problems going on at the club at the minute. So, with this one, I'm going to go with a Wolf, uh, Man City win. Um, I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline for that one. Guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out for now.